Well guys, welcome back at I'm watching PSUs and here we are with a basic AM4 RAM tuning guide. Now listen up, when I say basic, I mean it because if you're tweaking RAM, it can take you as far as like a week of testing to actually get like the latency down to the best possible. But what I'm trying to do here is a simple guide slash a few presets which you can follow and get done in probably 20 minutes. Maybe if you're testing for the sub timings, a few hours at most, if you really wanna go deep. I don't want you guys to lose your mind <laughs> with RAM tuning, okay? So it is gonna be AM4 specific, but it's gonna work for every single AM4 CPU, so Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, even Ryzen 3, no problem whatsoever, even X3D chips. Now this kind of integrates into all my CPU undervolting, CPU overclocking tutorials. So you can of course uh, do the undervolt and then also tweak your RAM and uh, without further ado I am on a gigabyte motherboard and I'm using a Ryzen 7 5700X for today but again which CPU you use does matter promise me one thing if the guide ends up being helpful you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel this is going to give you more FPS lower latency and overall a better running system so let's go into the BIOS and let's get started so here we are in the BIOS now little disclaimer any changes we make here you're going to need to test and make sure they are stable let's go ahead so first off we want to go into the advanced mode right here and then we want to simply enable our XMP okay so this is always the start and you also want to just uh, make sure that your XMP is working so test it out alone right down under your XMP which could be any number you're going to have the FCLK frequency UCLK div mode so these are the main settings you want to play with so if you want to just do the basic minimum don't want to waste your time you want to set the FCLK to half the RAM speed so if my RAM speed is 3200, I want to set the FCLK to 1600. Now, this is not actually half, this is one to one because the double data rate memory gets doubled. But anyways, 1600 without all the nerd talk, okay? UCLK div one mode, you want to set equal to memory clock, not halved, okay, equal. And now after you've done this, your system is already gonna run a lot smoother. A little disclaimer again, your FCLK is going to go at a maximum of 1800. So AM4 RAM scales up until 3600. You really don't want to go higher. So even if you can go higher, I recommend you go to 3600 and lower the timings, as we will talk about later. Okay, because the FCLK really struggles to go over 1600. Like on 18 is the maximum it can do. It's very difficult to go over 18, trust me, especially if you have an older CPU. Ideally, what you're aiming for is 3600 on the RAM, 1800 on the FCLK, and one-to-one -one on the UCLK. If you do this, and if you have a 3600 MHz XMP, you're basically already done, and uh, you can live happily pretty much. But you can also just tweak the timings to be lower. Let's talk about the whole timing and frequency thing, okay? So the frequency, the higher it is, the more the performance, but again, on M4 up until 3600. Timings is basically the same. So the lower the timing, the better the performance. Not only is it gonna be lower latency, but also like effectively higher FPS with lower timings. And now these that you read here, so 16, 18, 18, 36, 54, are the main timings. Then there are a lot of sub timings, as you can see like really a lot, okay? Let's get on how you should tweak them. So in my case, we have 3200 and we wanna reach 36. So how do we do that? Well, pretty simple actually, because what I do recommend you do is you actually go ahead and copy a profile from another RAM maker, because listen, the chips are the same. They're only made by Micron, Samsung, Hynix, and these are your RAM. Mine here is a Samsung Mate. So if I go on the internet and I look for a single rank, as you can see, because the module is single-sided, Samsung chip, and I just look at different timings, I can probably replicate them over here. So now what I'm gonna do for you guys is just put a few tabs in overlay right now and make them slideshow with presets for Samsung, Hynix, and Micron memory so you can try and copy them for AM4. Now, listen, every ship is going to be different. You still have to play around with them a bit, but I don't want to make this tutorial as in-depth as those half an hour ones. So I want to keep things simple. And this is the simplest way in which you can do it. 
it's not the best, but it's the simplest. Okay, so for the timings and sub timings, just copy them from a profile I give you, and I'm going to give you just some non not too aggressive ones, so you can just make them work. If you do not have this SPD info in your BIOS to see all the stats of your RAM, how do you check your RAM? Well, you can use the CPU-Z software. It's going to be fine. You can just look it there. Or you can use just different RAM reading softwares. I recommend you use CPU-Z. Now, voltage-wise, how much do I recommend for DDR4? Well, I recommend you do not go over 1.45 and even 1.45 is pretty high but in a well ventilated case it's gonna be good if you really have a cheaper scales with voltage you can go all the way up to 1.47 but you are gonna start to see some long-term degradation even at 1.45 uh, unless the temperature is really good you're gonna see some degradation actually but the extra voltage on some chips is gonna help now for the voltage just test it out because it's not always gonna work and uh, if it doesn't work you can just keep the voltage lower. No need to pump unneeded voltage in your system, if it makes sense. To recap, you want to just uh, tweak the FCLK, tweak the FCLK, set your profile to what you can, aim for 3600 by replicating the profiles I showed you, and then play with the voltage a little bit, just to be able to gain back what you may need to, for a proper tweak. And this is basically it for basic RAM tuning. Again, it goes much more in depth. This is just a way to explain it simply. So if the video was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. And uh, if you need any help, drop a comment because also I know that my subscribers, even though we are very few, uh, they like to help each other. So if not me, someone is going to help you, but I'll try to answer as well. And uh, hope to see you guys again in a different video. Bye-bye.